Welcome to Small Practice Support Information Session 21. In this Law Society of Ireland recording, Nick Jervis talks to Keith O'Malley about the law firm growth formula for websites. Welcome to uh, our small practice support information session uh, on uh, law firm growth formula for websites. Uh, I'm joined with uh, our expert uh, Nick Jervis from uh, uh, UK and uh, Nick has written as the, the book on, on this subject uh, and I'm really uh, delighted to have him on board and I think we can uh, pick up an awful lot of information from uh, his, his uh, what he's going to talk uh, us through to, today. Nick, thank just you. start by uh, thank, you, thank you for uh, for joining us today uh, in our information session. You are a solicitor. I was a solicitor. I'm a non-practicing solicitor now. Yeah, I was in the, the legal profession for 14 years, I think, and I've been out now um, for 17. So I'm, I'm out longer than I was in. Okay. And why did you decide to write a book on, on uh, law growth formula? The law firm growth formula? Well, that I, when I was in practice, um, I found that I, I, I enjoyed the marketing as much, if not more, than actually the legal practice. Um, but often I'd see, get a consultant in, try and find out what I was missing. And they said, no, you're doing fine. Just carry on. I thought, well, there's an opportunity here. Um, so quite early on when I was still, I, I studied and worked in the law at the same time and it took me eight years to do a legal exec and then become a solicitor. Um, but before I even finished that, I knew I was going to set up a marketing consultancy for law firms. Um, so I've been doing that since 2003. And the book I should have uh, book came out in 2016 I think I should have done it so much sooner um, and, and the reason I did it was because um, we I used to get people coming to me that had spent loads all the month all the marketing money they had on the wrong things that would never work um, and I'd be like oh, why didn't you come to me first and I thought I need something that I can put out there that's that's reasonable cheap to buy um, that gives them the way of doing things and understanding of what they should do so that even if they don't work with me, they know what they should and shouldn't be doing. Um, so it was a, it was just a case of, right, put down how I work with clients, the easiest forms of marketing, marketing that works for solicitors, into one book that for £10 on Amazon, they can buy, they can understand what they're supposed to be doing, and then away they go. And particularly in respect to websites, um, one of the, the most frustrating things is having a, a solicitor come to me um, and say, I've just spent 10,000 on this website, but the phone hasn't ringed since we went live six months ago. And I, and I can see why, because it's just not been built the right way. Um, content isn't right, the layout, everything about it. And again, you know, the, the book gives you a resource to say, look, set it out this way, it will work. Um, and, and tells people how to do it properly. So it's just a way of someone being a solicitor being able to get hold of the right forms of marketing without having to spend a, a fortune on it. Okay, thank you. So the book was a long time in, uh, uh, you know, uh, you- It was up here for years. <laughs> yeah, it was in, in there for ages. I just didn't put it on paper. Was there anything that particularly inspired you to to, to get it down on paper and write it? The, 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 the point that I mentioned that people kept coming to me and spent all their money on the wrong things. And I said, why did you do that? Well, I just, I kept following people that said, they said, that's what I should do. And I spent all my money on Facebook or all my money on Twitter. And it's like, mm, not for legal services. Um, if you, if don't get me started on social media, but for, for those watching, you don't have to spend a fortune on social media to get more clients. Um, I was saying to Keith before we started, most of my clients, anything from a few hundred thousand to, to the biggest one over 10 million, two or three things done properly and done well, even grow to whatever size you want. It doesn't take hundreds of different things. Um, and the book focuses on four core marketing strategies, which is all you'd ever need, which is a website that, that grows consistently, um, email marketing, talking to your old clients so they don't forget you exist, uh, Google AdWords, which gets more visitors to your website, and then referrals, and LinkedIn's a great tool for that. If you, if you do all four of those things, you, you don't need to do anything else. Um, as I say, clients that, that across the scale that just do those things, and you can grow to whatever size you want. Great. Well, you have a presentation. I'm, uh, you, you might uh, pull up the slides if that suits you. And, and yeah, talk. I will do. Absolutely. Let me pull that up now. 
So um, well, we were just going to mention if, if any what the plan was that I'll run through today um, some some things that you can do on your website which will make it better work better for you get you more inquiries um, and and how that should be set out and then what I'd love to do at the end of it is actually do some live reviews of, of viewers websites so if you would like me to do uh, to look through your website if you can put it into the um, chat now or in the next few minutes then after I've done 10 minutes or so of this, we can actually look at some websites live because I'm always told it's much, it's great if I can talk to you about the theory, but it's much better if I can then show you in practice and say, okay, I'd do that differently. I'd move that, I'd put this here. Um, so yeah, if you'd like me to review your website live, um, I'll be gentle. Um, then yeah, put your, put your details in the chat and we can do that. Great. And uh, yes, it just if I could note, anyone who has uh, any query or any comments you want to make, if you send them in uh, through the chat facility, there's two uh, op uh, options within the chat facility. One, you can send messages just to myself and to Nick, and the other one is you can send it to uh, everybody. So uh, you've, you've got those options, and we'd love to uh, get your uh, both your questions and your queries coming in on the chat facility. Okay. Thanks, Nick. So, so there's the book. Uh, so you've done my introduction, so I don't need to say much more. The only thing I'd, I'd say that, that um, everything in the book is based on practical experience, what I've done for clients, getting results. I spent my own money generating legal leads for solicitors. Um, so it's all very practical on what, what does work. Um, and the final thing is I'm a fan of easy life marketing. I want your clients finding you, your perfect clients finding you at the precise moment in time that they're ready to buy your services. Um, so that doesn't mean, you know, getting in front of people that, that aren't interested in me. So that would be a traditional advertise, advertising like TV, radio, newspapers. Someone doesn't go to the TV, radio, newspaper to find a solicitor, um, but they do go to Google to find a solicitor, as we all do for, for all range of services. So someone finding you at the precise moment in time, they're looking for your services is, is why I love websites, because they can do that for you 24 hours a day, seven days a week when you do it properly. Um, so I'm going to cover three things, um, website fundamentals, the basics uh, that, that should be in place on your website, uh, then talk about website marketing and, and show you a couple of tools that I use that are, that are really helpful at getting you quick wins, more visitors um, to your website without much effort. Um, and then we're going to look at some websites um, and, and the fundamentals bit. People always say to me, oh, Nick, you know, yeah, you told me some few, a few things and I've done most of them, but, you know, nothing's changed. And I said, Okay, here's the list and you've done one of the 10 things. Oh, well, mostly it's right. So it's the small things, Keith, that make a difference. Um, and, and to such an extent that, that, you know, I've got so many stories of, of people making these small changes and suddenly getting more inquiries, more clients. Um, but whenever I tell a solicitor, you need to do that. Oh, that's not important. No, no, it is. It's the little things. Um, and one client that's come to me during lockdown, um, the first lockdown, we haven't had our second yet, well, I'm sure it's not far away. Um, they were getting two or three inquiries a month. I applied most of what I'm going to share with you now to their website and they're getting more than 50 inquiries a month um, from simple changes. So it wasn't a case saying we need to spend loads more money. It was a case saying we just need to fix what's broken, make it work better. Um, so that's, that's, I'll share these things. Don't look at them and say that won't make any difference. I've, I've tested this numerous times. So I'm keen for you to make changes and see improvements. Um, so starting with the basic, your website's sole purpose, and this is sometimes cause of confusion, it's just to get your prospects contact details. Um, so many solicitors try and sell the whole service or feel they have to give every aspect of their service on the website, but it's very much just about um, getting into the uh, convincing the prospect that you're, you can help them, that you're the right person for them, um, and you can solve their, their problem, whatever that is now. Um, so it's 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 thinking about the prospect, talking to them, um, and and so and now to if you think that if you agree that the sole purpose of your website is to get the contact details, it's now harder to do that because people are so much more protective of them because we've all got hundreds of emails coming in and we worry we're going to be attacked. Um, so you've really got to work harder to prove that they're that you're worthy of their call, um, because if you're not, they'll go to another solicitor. They hit the back button and off they go. Um, so the way of, of getting that trust is um, three parts, depth of expertise, proof of expertise, and then making sure you actually ask them to contact you. And if there was one problem that most solicitors have on their website, um, it's that they forget to do the bit at the end where they say, get in touch, call us, email us, fill in a free inquiry form. They forget to do that. And that, that bit is vital. 
Um, so if you only do that change after they look at every page and say, does it tell me to do something at the end of it? If not, change it. And, and that's the point where people say, well, it really can't be that easy. And they, it, I've, I've had someone do that. All they did was put their phone number, email, and a link to an inquiry at the bottom of each page. They went from no inquiries a day to five inquiries a day. It's the simple things that made the difference. Um, and depth of expertise, uh, and this is in two parts. You have to have enough content on each page not just so that Google knows what the page is about. So if you're a, a conveyancing solicitor, so you can have enough content on there for Google work out, to work out, oh, you're a conveyancing solicitor, okay, I get it. Um, but also for the human visitor. Um, and a lot of people are, are nervous to put too much content on a page. They think, well, the person will do it themselves, but with legal services, that's not gonna happen. They're not gonna go off and do their own conveyancing transaction. Um, and if you don't put enough content, the visitor that likes to read a lot to, to believe that you are the best firm for them, will we'll leave, they'll go back and go on someone else's website. Um, so content on each page is vital. Um, a, you won't get anyone to your website because Google won't know what you do. Um, and B, the person visiting that, that um, wants to find out if you're an expert can't work that out because there's just not enough content on there. Um, and the other part is that you have to not have enough pages in each section to, to prove that you're an expert. So if, if you're a convincing solicitor, but you've only got one convincing page, will I believe that you're an expert in this area? If I go into conveyancing and I've got a page for leasehold, freehold, remortgaging, um, lease extensions, et cetera, then I start to think, okay, they, they do quite a lot of this. Um, it seems that they do know what they're talking about. As I say, if I'm, as a prospect, I'm gonna give you my contact details, I need to believe that you're the best person for the job. So depth of expertise is vital. Um, and then we want proof of expertise because it's all well and good, you telling me you're brilliant, but it'd be nice to see it confirmed from external um, places such as the qualifications, memberships of professional organizations. I've deliberately put the word reviews there because um, everyone's conditioned to look for reviews now rather than testimonials. If you think about Amazon, um, Trustpilot, all of these places, you're looking at reviews all of the time. Um, so you need those on every page of your website. And I'm gonna give you a content layout in the resources pack. Um, Any times you've been covered in the press, books or articles published, um, and something that I've done used a lot is volume of people help. So how many conveyancing transactions have you done? How many um, personal injury claims have you handled? How many businesses have you set up? Um, anything, depending on your legal service, those sorts of things give someone confidence that you're an expert. And as I said, that's what we're trying to do to, to make sure we get their, their contact details. Um, what, when it comes down to the layout of your website, and I'll come back to the call to action next, um, then... I always, uh, I always tell people, look, you've got to get the fact that your solicitor's on there. So often I see a really tiny logo in the top left and the word solicitor's isn't anywhere on there. But, but being a solicitor is a badge of honour. And um, Keith and I were talking about the fact that there's so many non-legal um, providers out there doing legal services. When you, when you are a solicitor, you actually want to make sure they can't miss that fact. Um, it's very, very important. Uh, and I'll show you a layout now. And I should have said the resources pack, you can see there at the bottom, I'll give you the URL um, in a bigger format. I'm going to send you all of this along with the slide deck, along with anything I refer to so that you can look at it at, at your own leisure. Um, so don't worry too much about making notes because there's a lot of points on here, but, but I'll give you the slide deck. Um, so mobile devices are really important. Um, and a lot of people design for mobile first now so you say, okay, what does it look like on a mobile? And that's just one column, just all the way down the page. Um, so don't forget to look at that and see what your visitors are seeing, um, see what, what display they get, and um, make sure you're, you, you can click it. You know, Once a month, at least once a quarter, you should be going onto your phone, on your desktop, on your mobile, and just clicking on whatever you find and making sure it's working. Um, because if you don't, you will find errors. I had a client, had a client recently who, we're running a good campaign and these numbers aren't right. There's something not, not right here. I went onto their website and, and their phone number wasn't working. It was ringing out. Um, so there was a problem with that, fix that, and their phone number's ringing again. Um, so you do need to check these things. Um, content, uh, so often it's difficult because solicitors aren't changed, co trained copywriters. Um, so, the, so it starts off by saying, we were formed in 1834 and we've done this and we've done that. And, and with, with websites, it's about flipping that and saying, Start by talking all about your client, um, and I'll give you a content template as part of the resources. Start by talking all about your client, um, where they are now when they arrive at your website. If they're a divorce client, they're you know they've got uncertainty, they've got fear. You need to talk about that to show you understand it. 
And at that point, you can convey the, the, why you're best placed to look after them because you've dealt with um, so many of these cases since you were formed in 1834, you know how to fast track them and, and ensure that they can um, get to the solution as quickly as possible. Um, the other thing, especially on mobiles, um, you have to think that a lot of the, the images are stripped out. Um, and because we're trying to convey that, that trust and expertise, it's important to sow reviews into the content. So as I read down, I get your introduction, you tell me, you understand my position, why your experts are helping me. But then if I see that review sewn in that, that confirms that from a third party, that, that makes it much more likely that I'll move on to the next bit and give you my contact details. So sewing reviews into the content is vital. If you look at your site on a mobile, you'll often realize if you've got your, your, your content here and your testimonials on the other side, they don't see that, that slips to the bottom of the page. They've got to get past all the content to see reviews, which are, as I say, people are looking for them all of the time. Um, Just one thing yeah, on that. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, we have a, a member uh, logo which uh, uh, the, you have one in, in, in Britain as well, but uh, I think that's particularly important that uh, solicitors use that and use that on their website because uh, obviously that very clearly identifies them, uh, them as uh, members of, of Law Society of Ireland. Yeah, and, and what I do with that is, you know, rather than just have the logo, linked to a page on their website that explains what that means, you know, for the client that we're members of the Law Society of Ireland, we are solicitors, you know, we have trained to be experts in this area of law, we've got a badge of honour um, to make sure we give you the best service. So they, they because the public might not know what the Law Society are, so you've, you've just got to make sure they understand what it means and the training that, that your members have had to go through to get that badge. Um, so just need to spell out exactly what it is that that means. So the public can go, okay, I get that. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, and I guess the other point I think uh, you know you've made, but I would just uh, emphasise it is this idea about mobile phones. It is hard to believe that more than half the people who are going to look at your website uh, are going to do on a small mobile uh, device. You know, and we we develop our websites using big widescreen. Uh, yeah and we're all orientated towards you know a, a certain uh, perspective the way we look on a, on a large screen and uh, a very high resolution screen and uh, but most people are actually uh, viewing it in a completely different way altogether absolutely no i, I never thought when uh, you know mobile started having web browser on um that, that they would become the dominant force for people to look at especially for solicitors you know i thought you wouldn't make a choice to choose a professional service provider on a mobile but most of my clients sites that i manage often it's 50 60 70 percent of, of viewers are on a mobile um so yeah you've got to you've got to think about them because that's the majority of visitors now you can see those figures in your google analytics um yeah. but it's it, it's uh, yeah i never thought that would happen i never thought mobiles would take over Yes. By the way, we do have at least one uh, solicitor has offered uh, us uh, uh, their website to, to review. So if we get a chance to do that, uh, we'll, we'll go back on, on that. Uh, Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you. And yeah. If you just if you do want me to review your website, if you can just copy the whole link in there and then I can link straight through it from the chat and, uh, and go straight on to it just to speed it up. Um, so let me, let me, uh, you, you want to finish at half one, is that right, Keith? Is yes. that the aim? Okay, I better crack on. Um, so the part I mentioned before, you must have, at the end of every page, you've got to tell me what to do. So it should be a phone number, which should be hyperlinked. So that means if I click it on my phone, it immediately dials your, your telephone number. If that's not working, you need to fix that, because that's important. Um, it should be an inquiry form. And, and that, if you've got one on the page at the top or the bottom, don't say, oh, and find our form and fill it in. Make it really easy for me, as I say, to get in touch. So it's click here to make an online inquiry. Send me to that form and I fill it in. Um, I've tested that extensively. And if you don't include that link at the bottom, you miss 20, 30% of your inquiries. Um, and and the live chat is the other thing I've mentioned because um, there's a service I recommend to my clients. There's an example of it here. Um, and it's operated for them 24 hours a day, seven days a week, um, and the inquiries come straight into them via email. Um, but what's good about that is that it's it's a real person that, that's talking to them. Um, so if I click that, I'd actually talk to a real person. 
Um, and so they're open 24 hours a day, seven days a week, which for you know people working funny hours, it means they can talk to someone. They feel like they've made a connection with the firm and then they wait for them to get back to them the next day. Um, speed is a key thing, both for, for people waiting for a site to load, but also because Google places so much emphasis on it. If your site takes ages to load, um, then Google will send you less traffic. It actually uses speed as a, as a measure of how much traffic it's going to get, going to send you. Um, so it's important you know that Google's got a tool which I'll, I'll, I'll send a link to, um, PageSpeed Insights, and that will run through your site and tell you how quick it is. Um, if you can get anything towards 50 on a mobile um, and over uh, 70 on a desktop, um, then you're doing well. That It will fluctuate, so look at it over a few days. Normally I'm in, in the 50s. Today it was at 44, um, but, but that's a useful tool, Google PageSpeed invites. Your web developer won't like it because it means that you're, you're checking whether they've built your fast website or not. Um, but if they can get you up towards 50 and, and over 70, you, you, you'll be doing okay. Um, and then finally, you just want to make sure that when you're on your website, you see that little padlock next to it um, because it means you're secure. If you're not doing that, and I see so many solicitors that aren't seeing that padlock, what, means it, what it means is you go to, a, a, someone tries to view your website and they get this big warning in the middle of the screen from Google saying, this site isn't safe, don't go here. Um, now you won't see that yourself if, if it's your site because you've been on it so many times before, but your, your users will. So it's really important that you check um, whether it's secure and vital. Um, there's a, a layout for you. Um, and it's, it's my sort of preferred layout. Um, these days, because of the mobile thing, the, the only column someone's going to see in the middle is number five, the content in the middle. Um, so, you know, it's less important to have left navigation. So two columns is fine. Um, but it's very important to get that right as they get logo plus sisters top left. So I'll give you that layout that works best for me. Um, but always remember, as I say, on a mobile, you're only going to see the central content in the middle. Um, so you need to sew in reviews, early calls to action to make it easy for people to get in touch with you. Um, one of my favorite sayings in terms of marketing your website is what gets measured gets better. Um, so you need to know uh, what your website traffic is, how many people are coming there every day and how many people are, are looking how many pages on your website are they looking at every month. It should be something you check every single month using Google Analytics. Um, and once you do that, if you then add content consistently to it, you will see the numbers going up. And if those numbers go up and if you've done the other things I've talked about in the first part of the, the chat, you'll get more inquiries to your services. It really is that simple. Um, and so often I say to solicitors, do you add content regularly to your site? And they say, not really. Um, I said, but we have got one blog that every month brings in hundreds of visitors and makes loads of phone calls for us. I said, fantastic. So how often do you write new blogs? No, no, we never do that. No. But if you know it works um, and it does, you know, I've had clients that have done this with me for years um, and some of them have thousands and thousands of visitors a month for legal services. Um, where should you be for, for a general um, firm, you, you should be at least at a thousand, but, but I, a three thousand. If you're doing really well, you'll be you'll be above ten thousand visitors a month. Um, and obviously, when you have that many people finding your website every single month, your phone keeps ringing. Um, and that the, the the content you should add should be answering your prospects' questions. Um, so often, I see lots of sort of localized content. Oh, there's a dog show this weekend at so and so, and um, lots of talk about COVID, but. No one's going to go to Google looking for a solicitor and type in, oh, what's COVID and law firms like? It's not going to happen. But they are going to go to Google and type in who's the best convincing solicitor or how do I choose a, a property lawyer? So if you can answer, if you can write content that answers questions people type into Google, um, then you will get more visitors to your site. And when you measure that and you see it going up, you think, OK, that's great. I can see this is working. You keep going. And then a really quick win um, when you've done all the first and the bits in the first part of the show is to improve the content that's already working. And I use Google search console for this just very quickly. And then we'll, we'll do a demo, um, which this is my site. Obviously I don't want to share a client site, um, which tells you for the last three months, I've set to UK, you can set it to Ireland. How many people have come to your site by searching for these terms? How many people are searching? impressions how many times they've searched this search term and where you are in the google charts and if if you see that um you know you've got a good one here seo for solicitors 471 people have searched for that in the last three months i'm at position 4.4 .4. 
um, then if I go and put that into Google, and you see, I always love this, there's people advertising using Google Ads, which is a great form of getting more people to your site, but they're advertising about a search, which is how to get organic traffic to your website. So, but they're paying to advertise, whereas I just thought, well, surely, you want to prove you can do it. You want to be you want to be at the top of Google um, for a term that you're you're saying you can do. Um, and so what you should do is find a good term, find one that you're in the top 10 for, but you, there's good volume of it. And you want to improve that page. Um, so all you do is you go through to that page and you say, can I add more content? Can I put in the keywords on this page? Um, and and just make sure it's answering the question that people are putting into Google. And not surprisingly, you remember I said you need a lot of content on the page. You need to sew in reviews. Um, you'll find that that's what I'm doing on, on here. And this is a very long page, uh, but it's got me to the top of Google. Um, so it kind of proves the point. And then you'll see my call to action at the bottom, doing what I told you you have to do, phone number linked, see so it puts a hand over it so I could do it, email, free online inquiry. Um, but, but you can, if you just spent some time looking at your search console, it's a free tool, Google search console, um, you will find what traffic you're getting and what traffic, what opportunities you've got, which you can prove as well. Um, so it's definitely worth spending some time in there. Um, there's the quick run through. We've got four minutes, so we're going to do a quick website review. Um, if you go to that URL there and enter your details, I'll send you everything I've rushed through today um, and the tools, Google Search Console, a video how to, how to use it in a bit more detail, um, any of the other tools I mentioned. That's great, Nick. Can I give you a, uh, a website that you might look up and... Uh, yes. It's uh, Dolby and McCoy. Uh, so Dolby, D-O-B-B-Y. What, what time was it put in the, um, in the chat? Because I can just copy it from there. Yeah, it's in the chat. It's uh, on at 107. 107. Dolby, there you go. I've got it. Perfect. Right. Let's... Dobiamccoy.com. Here we go. Uh, so, um, homepage. I'm never too fussed about the homepage because it, it's the place where people go um, to just find out. Um, you know, they already know you. No one going is going to land there that doesn't know you normally. So Ooh. the idea is get them to where they want to go quickly. So you've done that really well with here. Get in touch. Send me straight to the contact details. I'd probably make the word solicitors larger on, based on what I said earlier, get that badge of honor much bigger. Um, cookie banners, um, well done, you've got it at the bottom, definitely where you want them. Um, so many people put them at the top and I think it's not the most important thing. I don't wanna see cookie policy as the most important thing on your website when they land here. I wanna see your firm name, who you are, what you do. Um, so I'm not gonna to worry too much about the homepage because it's just a stepping stone to where we wanna go. Let's, let's go to one of the internal pages, these are where People should land if they're they're looking for you, um, and and what I'd say there is we just need more content. Um, we've got one page, so we're not sort of um, pleasing the audience by saying we've got ten pages all about personal injury. Um, we have got calls to action, um, although I always prefer we're, we're we're not hyperlinking those telephone numbers. I can't click on them to phone, um, but I always prefer um, to talk to people. So. The idea, hopefully what you want your content to achieve is I land on here, I, I read what you say, I like what you say. And then at the end of it, as if we're having a conversation, you and I, Keith, if I finish that conversation by saying, telephone me, email me, it would be a strange end. But if I said, if you'd like to discuss a personal injury claim, call me on this number or, or email or complete a free online inquiry. So, so talk to me and um, I'm much more likely to then do, do as you say. Um, and rather than gen personal emails, I probably have one that, that goes to, to all of the people in the department. Um, but definitely just some more content on there. Let's have a look at another page, employment law. Um, so we have got a bit more content on here. It's uh, The layout of the site's fine. You've got left content, right-hand side. Um, I'd probably move the navigation and use this to put the inquiry form, client reviews, and why choose us is my preferred layout. Um, and then break up the content with sort of images sewn in over here uh, and subheadings and bullet points and more content um, because that, that will get you more visitors and, and more of those visitors will get in touch. And some people sort of get fixated on, well, if I put too much content, some people won't read it. Um, but if you don't put enough content, some people will just disappear straight away. Some people like to read a lot of detail. Um, and so as long as you break it up with images and bullet points and subheadings, then that will work for you. Um, so yeah, definitely more content on there. Have we another one to go to, Keith? 
And no, we're going to have to finish up. I've got one last question. Thank you, by the way, Danny, for that. Uh, I have to say, I'm really impressed with this website. Uh, you know, I, I, what I like about it are the, the images that I see there. They're, they're uh, uh, genuine, or they're authentic, unique images, you know, from the first page. Uh, and I, I just think the design is so attractive. Uh, Beautiful pictures, uh, lovely typesetting. I just think it's really, really attractive website. I haven't seen, I can't remember seeing such a uh, an attractive uh, website here in Ireland in, in a long time. So uh, congratulations on that first class. One question, uh, if I, uh, Nick, can ask you, uh, it, it's come in. Uh, do you advise solicitors to specialize? And as the person says, otherwise it's difficult to show that you're an expert. What's your view? I, uh, I, I, I always say to clients, look, do what you love. And if you love one area of law over others, but you feel have to other the, off, off the others, stop doing the others and focus on what you really enjoy doing. Um, I've worked with so many solicitors who come to me and they're doing, oh, I have to do this. I don't like it, but it pays the bills. It's like, well, if you focus on what you really enjoy, that will come out in the, the results you get for your client. You'll be happier working every day. So absolutely go if you want to specialize because it pleases you specialize. And it's also mu so much easier to market a niche service. You know, if you just, and, and it's a much better sales message. So, you know, if you can say to a client, we only act for employers if you're an employer lawyer, or we only act for employees, that's a very strong message and it resonates. And it's like, oh, good. Okay. So they, they just look out for me. Um, and it sends some people away. You know, someone will say, well, they don't work with me. Well, that's great. You know, if that's what you do and you know it and you love it, then absolutely specialize, definitely. It's so I much think, easier to market. I think you made a wonderful distinction there because, you know, the choice really, solicitors shouldn't think, uh, do I want to specialize or do I want to generalize? A, a much better choice is, do I want to uh, do lots of what I really enjoy or yeah. do I want to do a mix of, of different things? And I think uh, that second uh, choice is, is, is a, a much more interesting kind of a, an option to put in front of yourself. I think we've all been reminded during this this last few months of madness that, you know, we definitely only get one go at this. So we might as well do what we enjoy, which is why I'm no longer a practicing solicitor and I just do marketing all the time. <laughs> Great. Nick, thank you very, very much. We're going to uh, finish with, with your contact details. So if anyone wants to contact you, they'll be able to do that. But really appreciate you uh, coming along and giving us uh, your uh, wonderful insights. Really, really useful. And uh, I thank you for, for joining us. Thanks very much for inviting me, Keith. I've enjoyed it. I'm sorry it was so short. But if anyone has any questions, if you download those resources, if you just want me to look at your website, I'll happily do that and send you some thoughts in an email because we can get to do everyone. So Great. like that, the contact details will come to you after the resources. Great. We will be sending your uh, slides out to everybody who's, who's registered uh, before the end of the week. So okay. thank you very much, Nick. And thank you, thank you. Uh, everybody for attending. Bye. Nice to see you all. Thanks. Bye bye.